guys, what's up? Today, I'm going to be comparing a stickerless cube to a stickered cube and seeing if there's any difference in performance. So right off the bat, these are the same puzzles. These are the RS3M 2020s. And just for a little bit of spice, I guess, to add to this comparison, this one's from Shibi Cube Shop and this one's from the Cubicle. So they're both stickerless and stickered and both from different companies. So I'm just going to check out um, what there are differences, what is better and worse about them. So let's start with the stickerless first. Stickerless right off the bat is smooth, fast, but it does have a lot of dirtiness. It catches a lot of nasty kind of muck inside the cube after a while, but nonetheless, it's still a solid cube as the standard RS3M adjustment system. And for $10 or $9, it's just really good cube. Fast, controllable. I actually had this as my main for almost a year, so great cube. Corner cutting, 45, pretty easy. And it can go a little bit further too. So it's really good at corner cutting. Now onto sticker. Um, has similar smooth feel but it's actually a little bit faster. Now I know this is a little bit newer, so it probably doesn't catch all of that nasty stuff inside, but yeah, I guess it might just be like that the cube is a little bit newer, but it's faster, it's just as smooth, and um, corner cutting, it can go 45. To be honest, this is not as good of corner cutting because it can't go at a certain spot, and 45 isn't as smooth as the stickerless. So, um, this doesn't have as good of corner cutting. In terms of setup for the stickered cube, I used a couple different lubes. I used the Mystic and the DNM for that. And then, actually, for this RS3M, I used Lunar, which is just a speed cube shop lube. So, they're pretty similar in terms of setup because the, they both use faster loops but this one's just slightly more of a smooth type of cube. Now I'm gonna do uh, a solve on each of the cubes and see how they perform and which one has a better time. Those are 28, so not that great of a solve, but now into the stickered version. Obviously, different scrambles, more lucky, less lucky could play a difference in this, but um, this is just trying to get a vague assumption of how the cube's performing solve. This one ended up getting a 26. Now, overall assumptions, overall thoughts at the start of the video was probably that they're going to be pretty similar because they're the exact same cube. But actually, there are some differences. Um, in the solves, I felt that this cube was way more easier. It had less tension on the puzzle. It was easier to turn. This had a little bit more tension. Had a little, used a little bit more strength to turn the puzzle. Um, and that did reflect in a couple seconds of better solves in this, and there were similar scrambles as well. So, I overall recommend the stickered version and the stickerless version. They're both solid cubes, but um, the one I prefer, I actually prefer the stickered version, um, at least in these two puzzle comparisons. So, thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to consider subscribing because I've just put in a lot of hard work and content into this YouTube channel. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.